Hello and thanks for watching. I'm excited to share my tutorial for this fall to winter fault line cake, which I also think looks like a frozen tooth themed cake. I previously shared a video on how I make realistic fondant leaves. I decided to include it here as well since I use these for this cake too. I'll link that video here and in the description if you're interested. But very briefly, I marble a few different fall colors together and then I cut out leaves with this leaf cutter set. After that, I roll them out onto an impression mat to give them some texture. I let them dry overnight on makeup wedges to make them look more crinkly and give them some movement. To make some smaller leaves, I use this leaf mold. You can find this in my Amazon storefront. With Crisco or shortening helps keep the fondant from sticking. Let these dry as well and then I dusted everything with Glamour Edible Luxe Glitter Dust by Sweets and Treats Boutique. It's a beautiful sparkly gold. It looks great with these colors. Then we'll move on to the snowflakes. I rolled out some white and some blue fondant and then I used the snowflake plunger cutter set. These are in my Amazon storefront if you're looking for them to make different snowflakes. The white snowflakes, I use Opal Edible Luxe Glitter Dust to give them an iridescent shimmer. You can find my easy homemade marshmallow fondant recipe on my website and my YouTube channel here. I'll link that as well. Dusted the blue snowflakes with Skyline Edible Luxe Glitter to give them some sparkle. all my fondant pieces were dry, I frosted the top like two-thirds of my cake with this deep purple color. Recipes for my cake flavors and my buttercream frostings are on my website at customcakesandcupcakes.com. I also have tutorial videos on here for how to frost a smooth buttercream cake and how to create a fault line cake. If you're interested in those, I'll link them as well. After the purple layer was smooth, it went into the fridge for about 30 minutes to set up. I frosted the bottom about half or two thirds in this icy blue color. And once this was done, it went back into the fridge for about 30 minutes. Some gold detail around the top raw edge using Sweet Sticks Edible Art Paint. Painting on buttercream with edible paints works very well as long as your buttercream is very cold and crusted over. And I chose Silver Edible Art Paint for the edge along the blue. Next, 
we'll start adding all of our decorations. I use this fall colored sprinkle mix from Sweets and Treats Boutique called Nightcap for the fall half of the cake. These colors coordinated very well with the leaves I've made. Since my fondant pieces were quite small, they stuck to the condensation on the buttercream easily. You could also pipe or dab a little buttercream on the back as an edible glue if you needed to as well. Next, we'll switch from the fall layer to the winter layer. The sprinkle mix I used for this side is called Snow Tracks, also by Sweets and Treats Boutique. It's got beautiful blues and whites, little snowflakes, and all different kinds of shapes. The colors in this mix complemented my snowflakes very well. And just like with the leaves, the snowflakes stuck to the buttercream quite easily. However, you could definitely add a little dab of buttercream on the back if you felt more secure with that too. And here is the finished look. Let me know what you think. Would Anna and Elsa be proud? Thanks so much for watching.